when i first looked at iron what caught my attention was how a bitcoin miner was quietly transforming into something much bigger a potential ai infrastructure powerhouse and if you think that's an exaggeration wait till you hear the numbers at the moment iron is utilizing only about 2% of its total secured power capacity for ai infrastructure the company has roughly 3 gigawatts of power locked in that's 3000 megawatts but is currently utilizing just about 60 megawatts of that for ai workloads from that small portion they plan to deploy 23000 gpus by quarter 1 of 2026 which are expected to generate around 500 million in annualized revenue now here is where things get interesting if 2% utilization brings in about half a billion dollars what happens when they scale up even if we take that math at face value full utilization could theoretically mean 25 billion in annualized revenue that's 50x revenue for you obviously not all of it will be ai revenue part of the capacity will still go towards bitcoin mining but it gives you a sense of the enormous runway ahead iron's major facilities include british columbia that is of capacity 160 megawatts where they are already transitioning capacity from bitcoin mining to ai horizon 1 in texas is the second facility with a capacity of 750 megawatts which is a liquid cooled high density data center and their flagship project sweetwater hub with a capacity of 2 gigawatts a 1800 acre facility being built in west texas capable of housing over 600000 nvidia gb300s once complete phase 1 of sweetwater that is 1.4 gigawatts is expected to be energized by april 2026 and phase 2 600 gigawatts of capacity by late 2027 this will make sweetwater one of the largest ai data center hubs in the world now the big question is even if iron builds all of this capacity will there be enough demand to fill it according to ceo dan roberts the answer is a clear yes he cites forecasts from major investment banks and consulting firms One says a 44 gigawatts of shortfall in AI data center capacity is expected in the next three years. McKinsey estimates 100 gigawatts of additional capacity will be needed globally by 2030. So rather than a AI bubble, we might actually be heading towards a capacity crunch. The world needs massive compute infrastructure, and Iron is positioning itself to supply it. Now why would a big AI company like OpenAI, Microsoft or Meta choose Iron over existing cloud players like Coreweave or Nebius? The answer lies in vertical integration and cost structure. Iron owns everything in its stack, the land, the substations, data centers, cables, servers and even the GPUs. There are no middlemen, no co-location fees. This gives them unmatched control over costs and performance. A typical data center runs at about 5 kilowatts per rack, but Iron's high compute facilities originally built for Bitcoin mining can handle around 70 kilowatts, nearly 14 times denser. That's ideal for modern AI workloads which typically need around 40 kilowatts of power per rack. The other advantage they have is their net power cost. Their net power cost in quarter 4 of FI25 was just 3.5 cents per kilowatt hour compared to 7 to 10 cents for most US data centers. All of this is renewable energy, hydro, wind and solar sourced directly from low cost regions like British Columbia and West Texas. This low cost power combined with full ownership of the value chain gives Iron one of the strongest cost moats in the AI infrastructure industry and importantly they have executed flawlessly so far according to the management and they have never missed construction or energization milestones so far another big advantage for Iron is deployment speed 
they have already built and energized 810 megawatts of operating data centers up from just 260 megawatts a year ago the company's standardized modular design lets them replicate builds quickly across locations they can take a site from concept to live power in under 24 months while most traditional operators take 3 to 5 years that speed is critical in a market where demand is outpacing supply iron also has a preferred partner status with nvidia giving them better access to the latest gpus like the gb300 nvl72 and upcoming rubin chips they even secured non dilutive financing for these gpus 100% of their gpu purchases are funded at single digit interest rates All this expansion is being fueled by cash flow from Bitcoin mining, Iron's original business. In FI25, Bitcoin mining contributed 484.6 million in revenue, about 97% of total revenues. Their all-in cash cost per Bitcoin was around $36,000, while the average realized price was $99,000, giving them margins north of 60%. These margins helped Iron swing from a 26.9 million loss in FI24 to 86.9 million net profit in FI25 with adjusted EBITDA jumping tenfold to 270 million. Bitcoin mining is their cash cow funding the transition to AI infrastructure. But this also introduces risk. If Bitcoin prices drop sharply, that cash flow engine could weaken. Let's be clear one of the iron's biggest risk is its reliance on bitcoin revenues to finance the ai build out between 2022 and early 2023 bitcoin fell from $65000 to $16000 if something like that happens again if the bitcoin prices fall from the current prices their profitability iron's profitability could take a serious hit Even though they have secured outside GPU financing of 200 million, Bitcoin mining still provides the main day-to-day -day liquidity. It's what pays for operations, staff, and initial capex. So any investor must accept that Iron's fortunes are partly tied to Bitcoin's price cycle, at least for now. The good news is that Iron's balance sheet is strong. As of June 2025 they had 564 million in cash and 2.9 billion in total assets against 1.1 billion in liabilities. They have issued low interest convertible notes at 3.25% and 3.5% and their operating cash flow hit 245.9 million for the year. All of this gives them enough flexibility to fund near term AI expansion including the 10900 GPU rollout that's happening right now Horizon 1 the Sweetwater 1 facilities without needing to dilute shareholders Now let's talk valuation because yes the stock looks expensive at first glance Iron trades at a trailing price to sales ratio of nearly 18x which is way above traditional data center peers but based on forward revenue around 1.25 billion annualized combining bitcoin and ai that multiple drops to around 9 to 10x which is in line with ai infrastructure peers like coreweave or lambda labs analysts project 2.5 billion in revenue by 2027 for iron which would compress the price to sales to around 4.66x making the current premium look justified given the 391% expected revenue growth over 2 years if the company executes well and hits its 500 million ai arr target by quarter 1 2026 the market cap could raise from around 12 billion dollars today to 20 to 21 billion implying an upside of 60% or more to sum it up here is how i see it Iron is sitting on a massive power and data infrastructure base that is 3 gigawatts secured and scalable. It enjoys one of the lowest power costs in the world and owns the entire value chain. It has first mover advantage in high density AI infrastructure and preferred access to Nvidia GPUs. 
The Bitcoin cash flows are strong enough, at least as of now, to fund AI expansion without heavy dilution. And the AI demand curve, especially for high-density GPU workloads, looks set to remain strong for years to come. So yes, the stock looks pricey in traditional terms, but it deserves that premium because it's not just a miner anymore. It's not a Bitcoin miner anymore. It's evolving into a vertically integrated AI infrastructure company, the kind of business model that investors are willing to pay up for. That said, investors should remain aware that this transformation rests on two pillars, Bitcoin stability and flawless execution. If Bitcoin prices collapse or if project timelines slip at Sweetwater or Horizon, the bullish case can weaken quickly. But if they continue delivering as they have so far, Iron could indeed be one of those rare crossover stories. A company that started in crypto but ends up being a key enabler of the AI economy. To me, Iron represents asymmetric opportunity. The downside is cyclical, but upside is exponential. We are still early in the AI infrastructure build-out and Iron's mix of scale, power economics and execution record gives it a real shot at becoming one of the most important players in this space. So while it's not risk-free for investors who can tolerate volatility, Iron remains a compelling buy in the long run. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.